Hello, my name is Kevin with Valux, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up the SVK64 to the back of a DVR. And right now, we will be hooking it up to the Valux SVR1648 DVD. It will work with the DVD or the D1 to pull up the menus, to go through the menus, to turn on recording, to turn off recording, to make changes, to open up the screens, to do displays, and ever or a lot of other settings. In order to do this, you need to go back to, to the back of the DVR, which we're looking at right now. We have a turn block one, and we have turn or we have turn block one here and turn block two here. The turn blocks of listed are listed right here of what they are. Turn block two is listed here. If we look very here, it says that number four is TRX positive 485 and 5 is TRX negative 485. Here I'm going to insert into number 4 which is going to be positive and I'm going to use red as positive into the back into port 4 and then it said 5 is negative and I'm going to insert the black as negative and then I want to be sure that the cables are in there very well and then on the actual back of the con or the port that the SVK64 plugs into you've got two wires coming out of there sometimes it's green sometimes it's black sometimes it's orange and we're going to use orange which is negative and then you've always got red coming out which is always going to be positive and then we're going to plug this we're going to plug the SVK64 into this turn block and then we'll go from settings from there on the keyboard controller you will need to access the menu of the DVR and then use the keyboard controller the MPX button and the auto button to go up and down on the keyboard controller until you find keyboard setup once you see keyboard setup which we can barely see through the camera and everything we will hit the enter this will take us to a different sub menu you use the MPX button on the keyboard again until you see protocol here you can use Pelco P or Pelco D it will work the keyboard controller will control the key or the DVR using either or of these protocols in order to change the protocol one is factory which it will not work with two is Pelco D and three is Pelco P I would use two and then hit enter and that will change it to Pelco D next we will need to go and find the baud rate here the baud rate is set to 2400 the DVR will only work with 9600 protocol so you type in 9600 like I just did and press the enter key this will automatically change the baud rate to 9600 and then you would hit the exit button two times and that takes you back to the main category now I'm going to hook up and then tell you the keys that you would need to press and then we will see what comes up on the screen of the DVR as I do this. Okay, when you are on the actual keyboard and you're looking at the DVR, in order to access the correct DVR, you will first need to input the DVR ID number as the camera. So if you have like DVR 1, 2, 3, 4, and you've got them as ID 1, ID 2, ID 3, which I'll show you here later on, on how to find out your ID, you will need to hit the ID. For instance, this one is DVR 1, so we're going to hit 1 cam on the actual keyboard controller, and then we're going to press the DVR button on the keyboard controller. This will bring up DVR menu, ID 000 data 0000 and then you will hit the menu button this will bring up the menu of the actual DVR as you can see it just came up you will use the call button the scan the auto and the MPX which these buttons are also listed left right up and down 
we're going to use the call button to go over. Here you can go over to miscellaneous, go to DVR info, and then hit the enter button on the keyboard. This will bring up the information of the DVR. Here is where I was stating that this was DVR1. It says that it is DVR ID 1. So if you have 1, 2, 3, and you've got them all different IDs, you would hit the DVR number and then the cam button. That would actually bring up the actual camera. And then you would hit a DVR button. And then you would do the menu button or whatever you want to do with the actual DVR. Then you go down to where it's the only option you have on this one is exit. And you would hit enter. Let's say you want to go and change the recording or something on this one, which we have now added a recording on and off button inside the DVR. You would hit menu, brings up the menu. You would go over to miscellaneous. You would go down to or use the auto button to go down. And here is where we can turn off and on recording. Right now you see a green V right here for video. This means it's recording video. You hit enter on this it asks for you to be our log our admin rights it will only work in admin use the call button to go over the default password is five zeros one two three four five you would hit enter you would use the buttons and then hit enter for the zero and then use the scan button to get back over to the OK button and then use the enter key to hit OK and it says do you want to turn off recording and you hit yes now you've noticed all the green lights are gone and then it also states that the recording is off. This is how you can turn on and recording from the keyboard controller to the DVR. On the Velux keyboard controller there are some other things you can do through the menu and everything that I'm about to show you and everything. Please note I have now changed over to a 1648 DVD. D1 so some of the screens you will not get depending on which type of DVR you are using you can actually use the call button when you are logged out of the menu and change to different sizes of the screen you can use the call button and change to these different sizes the MPX to do individual screens to go to screen by screen please note if you're using a PTZ you cannot control the PTZ until you actually hit the DVR button on the keyboard to get out of the DVR menu. At this point, all of the PTZ functions do not work or any of the other things of the keyboard will not work except accessing the DVR right now. And right now, as I said, you hit the MPX button, which is the up button, and you can go channel by channel by channel by channel looking at the different channels. Hit the scan button, this will bring up four screens. Hit the scan button again, and you can go through the screens of four channels and everything. This option is not available on all keyboards because we are using, I mean, on all DVRs because we are using a D1, which is the auto. This will bring up this ch or eight channels, another eight or another way, or six way, another six channel and then this one which is not available on all DVRs. You can hit the menu button and access the menu. This is what we were in earlier today. And you can go through the menu. I'm already logged in. If you were not logged in you would have to log in. But we can go to setup and hit enter and this is where you would have to log in as I was stating. Here you can go through the menu set or the menu using the call button and the scan button. In order to access that, let's say we want to access camera, you would hit enter. That takes you to the camera and then you can use the uh, call and the scan button to move up and down on this. To access that menu, you would hit enter. I mean the auto button that would make you or bring you down. And you can go up and down on this making all the changes using all the arrow keys that are on the actual keyboard. You go down to the bottom and then you can move it over and it'll highlight that and then you would hit enter to change that and that would take you to the second half and then you would be able to go through here and change it in order to change anything you would hit the enter and then change it to what you want and then once you do you can hit save and exit and once you use the arrow keys to get to that location you would be able to hit the uh, enter button after you make the changes after all that you would go down to the bottom 
and you would hit the save button and hit enter again and that will save it you would need to then in order to exit this menu you will have to hit enter the auto button and then hit down down and then hit the call and then hit enter to exit please note if you do access the menu and you do go all the way down to the bottom once you get down here you are an or once you get down here you will be able to go through and you will be able to go up but some of the sub menus will not allow you to go all the way up and do the changes so you will have to go down here and you will have to go exit from time to time and if you did make a change you don't want to save it just go ahead and hit exit and it says do you want to save the changes and then you would hit no this is how you would access the menu by hitting the menu button and do several changes throughout the keyboard and changing different screen size or changing the screen layouts going through the menu changing the menu layouts and everything with a Velux keyboard to a Velux SVR1648 DVD and this is only with the new DVDs where the DVD-ROM drive is in the middle or the D1 series or the Eco series. Thank you very much for watching this Velux presentation.